Hi everyone, Stephanie here from Thrive. Today I'm joined by Dr. Cruz Davis, owner of Cruz Davis Family and Cosmetic Dentistry. Thank you so much for joining us and happy Pride Month. Happy Pride Month. Hi. All right, so before we dig in, can you share with us a bit about your business's story and how you got started? I started in this business about nine years ago. Um, I graduated from the University of Florida College of Dentistry. And I started working as an associate in another clinic, and then um, there was an office in my town that became available. And I purchased it, and I started working as a dentist here. And I've been here for nine years, and it's, it's been great ever since. Now, tell me, have there been any unique challenges that you faced as an LGBTQ plus owned business? There was a lot of people um, doubting uh, me to have a successful business because I was an LGBT. So kind of there was going to be some uh, negativity from patients or negativity from the population because I was LGBT. Uh, I have not encountered that for the most part. Uh, maybe one or two cases in nine years, which is barely anything. So why are you passionate about dentistry? Was there a moment in your life where you like just knew it was your calling? Yes, I grew up in Cuba and since I was a kid, I got a lot of exposure to dentistry. I had a lot of dental work. I had some dental trauma. I broke my front teeth after eight or nine years of braces. Oh, um, no. So there was a moment that I said, you know, maybe this is a calling for me. I, I really need to do something to redirect this energy and start helping people uh, feel confident about their smile, uh, healthy about their, their mouth. So that's how I became passionate about it. And, that's why I'm a dentist today. What advice would you give to other small business owners looking to show their authentic support for LGBTQ plus community, you know, without coming off as like rainbow washing or shallow? Just treat everyone with respect and value everyone for the person they are. It doesn't matter, um, you know, what, what their preference are, what their life is, what, who they voted for. It doesn't matter. Um, you're a healthcare practitioner or you're a business owner, so you have your clients or your patients and you treat everyone with the same respect that you would like to treat someone very close to your family. Um, and also, um, you know, if you really want to support the LGBT community, I would recommend to donate to organizations that support the LGBT community. So we do hear a lot also about the importance of inclusivity and creating those inclusive spaces. So how can business owners ensure they're creating an environment that makes everybody feel welcome? And, and again, it, it's just based on respect. You know, if you have a question about their, you know, there's a lot of different changes now with uh, a lot of people want to use a different pronoun. Uh, just ask, you know, if you are if you have a question, just just be humble, be honest, ask your questions and move, move on. What would you say to other small business owners or other LGBTQ plus business owners looking to make the leap into entrepreneurship or starting their own company, whether being, you know, another dental practice or like you said, like a coffee shop or a pet groomer? Yeah, I would say don't let the fears control you. OK, there's a lot more support than you might think of. Um, we are very lucky to leave to, to be right now on, on, on the time in 2022. We're very lucky. Uh, 50 years ago, 100 years ago, would have been different. But right now, there's a lot more acceptance, a lot more humanity, a lot more love. Um, just don't let the fear uh, and your insecurities drive you not to follow your dreams. So follow your dreams um, and try to love everyone. Um, and then the last question that I wanted to ask you, you know, you talk about like following your dreams and, but I know that starting a business can be really scary. So how can like a software help you kind of run your business in a way or improve business so that, you know, that dream isn't quite so scary? Well, you know, you, once you finish uh, professional school, either dental school in my case or medical school or any, or business administration school, uh, you're going to have all the tools. Um, as far as knowledge and skills, but you won't have all the tools as far as scheduling, accepting payment, uh, building a website, um, 
So you have to surround yourself with smart people and with smart software. And um, that's how software comes in into place. And that's you know, scheduling, accepting payments online, building a, an organized website, organized um, things in your business. That's, that's how software um, make you very success, successful in business. Yeah. So I can focus on doing what I love, which is dentistry, and let everybody else do the rest. <laughs> <laughs> that is fantastic. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. I, I really enjoyed talking to you. Thank you. It is my pleasure and happy pride to everyone. And I hope, I wish everyone lots of love. Okay. And for those of you watching, let us know in the comments how you show your support for LGBTQ plus owned businesses all year round. We'll see you next time. <laughs>